Hey again internet, so I just filmed my color tattoo uh, Maybelline eyeshadow review and I thought I would do a makeup collection video. Um, I know that I kind of hinted that I might do one when I did my room tour kind of way back now before the holidays um, and I know that you guys have been kind of requesting it. so. Here it is. Um, just before we get into it, I want you guys to know the standard disclaimer. This makeup has been collected by me um, forever. I've had a lot of it for quite a while. Yes, I know I have a problem. I'm a makeup junkie. I have way too much makeup. Um, that said, I do actually use most of it. You'd be surprised. Um, all of it was purchased with my own money or given as a gift and all that good stuff. Um, Finally, like you guys might be a little bit surprised at how it's not all perfectly organized. Like this is truly how I've been keeping my makeup for the last year or so. Um, it's using storage that I've kind of always had and recycled into a kind of makeup storage purpose. Um, eventually when I get my own place, I'm in my kind of childhood home right now, um, I would like to get nicer storage um, that is sort of better quality and more suitable for makeup. Some of it is getting pretty full now, um, so it's not the ideal storage, but it's good storage and it works for me and it's inexpensive and uses things that are easily available and that um, I already had. So so here I am again. Um, you guys are going to be seeing quite a lot of me during this video just because my vanity has this big mirror behind it. It's an antique vanity. It's not the most practical thing in the world because I can't tuck my legs under it. So let me just show you a general view of that, which you've already seen during my room tour. If you kind of want to see more of my like room decor and furniture and hear me talk about all of that, then you should really watch my room tour. And um, this is really more of a specific makeup collection and storage video. Um, so yeah, this is where I do my makeup every single day. It's just a really nice little relaxing place for me. Um, so why don't we just get right into it? Um, so I just have my makeup brushes here. Um, I keep the face brushes in this one, which is kind of a little fishbowl thing. And then my eye makeup brushes in here. Um, I need to get some more of these little glass things because they're, it's not quite full enough to be able to keep the brushes straight. I have this little storage unit and out of the two that I have this is definitely my favorite. It's from Ikea and it's been painted multiple times in its life. I've had it since I was about 10. I'm 23 now so that tells you how old it is. Um, originally it had flowers on it that was done with crayon. You can kind of almost see like a faint blue line here where that was. And then I painted it white with acrylic paint and then used a gold marker to do this kind of Grecian detail. Um, I think I was into the whole Greek thing um, when I did this. It goes well enough with my room. Um, I think eventually it will get another life and be repainted um, to match however my future room will look like when I get my own place. And I've kept it like this until then because, I mean, who knows what color the walls are going to be and that kind of thing. So, top, I just have some hair products and face products up here. Oh, um, I've run out, but normally these, this is filled with Q-tips. I really like this, actually. It's quite handy. Q-tips are a makeup sort of beauty girl's best friend. Um, I just have my brow powder up here and eyelash curlers, nail file, hair things, um, little makeup mirror up here, little cute koala hanging on there. Um, so let's get right into it. And the first one um, is eyeliners and um, mascara. This drawer is a little bit small for everything it contains given how many I've accumulated. Well, Urban Decay one on its last legs here actually as well. Then in the second, I have, this is a sort of fun drawer actually, I really like um, the way I've stored them upside down so I can see which one is which. You can see the new color tattoo ones that I got and have reviewed today. Um, then my Makeup Forever Aqua Creams, which are my all-time favorite cream eyeshadows. Um, my loyalties um, are still pretty strong towards that product. I just love them very much. I wear them with and without powder eyeshadow and they just have some beautiful 
beautiful colors. I mean, look at this cranberry one. That's the color 17, which is one of my favorites. And then I have some Urban Decay primer potions and some little sort of Sephora samples over here. And then in the corner, sort of lurking here, is my MAC Shark Skin. Um, I think this has been discontinued now. Shade Sticks. Like, I haven't seen them around for a while, at least. It's not it's not the best product. If you don't have it, I wouldn't recommend getting it. It's very hard to spread and apply. And then I just have this entire drawer of lip balm here. I have very chapped lips, naturally, even in the summer. Um, I don't know why. They're very naturally dry. Um, this is my Body Shop Cranberry one. I really, really like this. It has shimmer in it and just the best scent. It has really good memories associated with it. I used to wear it when I was a teen. Um, and then just some miscellaneous ones. If you by any chance live in the UK, then you probably know this. This is a Vaseline um, Rosy Lips. This is one of my all-time favorite lip balms, um, but you cannot get it here in North America. I have absolutely no idea why. Um, it's made in Norway. It's a part of Unilever. It really should be available here, but it's not. Um, and they have a number of other ones as well. Um, they have the aloe vera one, the cocoa butter one, which is the newest of them. Um, but this one is definitely my favorite. It is fantastic. Um, a lot of people, I think, compare it to the Smith's Rosebud Solve. This is just the one in the tube. But it's absolutely not comparable, in my opinion. Um, this one is way better. So, enough about lip balm. Maybe someday I'll do, like... I don't know, a top five lip balm video or something. Um, this next drawer is just miscellaneous. I have some false lashes that I recently purchased to do some tutorials that you guys have been asking for and that I've been wanting to do for a while. I have my face primers, um, some brow sets. These two are by MAC. This one's by Anastasia. I've run out of my Revlon one um, now, which I also really like. Um, these are definitely my least favorite. Uh, little L'Oreal face primer. Uh, CoverGirl by Olay Concealer, Amazing Cosmetics Concealer, my new Garnier Skin Renew that I have sort of yet to, oops, um, make my opinion out of, um, up on, um, and then there's my all-time favorite Instant H Rewind, you guys know this was in my 2011 favorites, it's definitely my favorite under eye concealer as of now. I have like three pairs of scissors in here and like three <laughs> sharpeners. I don't know why. I guess just in case of emergency, those would be the things I would need, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then in here, I just have some miscellaneous palettes um, from my travels that I use quite seldom. Um, all of these are from Japan. Um, I went there in my sort of late teens and brought back like a truckload of makeup. And this is the only stuff that is sort of still good because it's powder. Um, it's quite neat. Zaw is actually a division of Shiseido. It's sort of their teen, more inexpensive um, brand, and I wonder whether it actually still exists or not because I haven't heard of it for a while now. To this one, I have way too much foundation. You guys can see I have like eight foundations on the go. I have some Vichy Derma Blend. I really like this one. My BB cream that I've talked about before. I really like the Dr. Jart one. I think BB creams are going to be huge for 2012. Pretty much every brand on the market has one coming out. There's some Laura Mercier over here, Chanel Violumier, some Neutrogenas that I brought back from the States, a L'Oreal, a Shiseido, Narshear Glow. This is ancient. I really need to throw this away, but it was so expensive and such a fail. I really do not like it that I'm still holding on to it, which is really silly. Um, some Revlon. Color stay. This is definitely an all-time favorite, and some Revlon Photo Ready. Um, this was supposed to be a backup um, because my mom tried it and didn't like it, and I don't like it either. So I'm probably never going to use that, but still hanging on there. Some mineralized skin finish, some L'Oreal True Match, a By Terry translucent powder, lots of Studio Fix in different colors. Some of them are C2, some of them are C3. Um, just because my skin tone can change a little bit and sometimes I like to pretend that I'm a little bit darker skin than I actually am. I'm pretty much white as the sheets. So there's a Pure Minerals um, foundation here. I think I might do a full review on this at some point. Uh, Dream Matte Backup because this is the one that I carry with me in my handbag. And then some Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and Foundation and a Makeup Forever Translucent Powder. And that completes the foundation drawer. 
Then up here I have my two full MAC palettes of eyeshadows. Um, I will probably do a separate video on that if you want a kind of little preview. One of my um, Vlogmas videos was showing you guys about half of these um, along with some new additions. And then this is actually the quad I use for my Jennifer Garner tutorial. It's really sort of handy for tutorials to have a smaller quad like this. A Too Faced. Um, uh, sunset palette, uh, sorry, sleek um, in sunset palette. These are from the UK. They're really good value for money. Um, they're from the drugstore. Uh, Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. This is the one in Ludwig and it's got some really nice neutral shades in it. I often take this with me when I travel. Believe it or not, it actually in some ways can create more looks than the Naked palette. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen this before, um, but it's got some greens in it and some kind of just sort of neat um, smoky colors and a really pretty buttery yellow in there. So I actually really, really like this. Um, of course, you know, it doesn't beat the Naked palette. Nothing can, but it gives it a run for its money. Um, but unfortunately, it's got that horrible packaging like the NARS products that catches dust and makeup and looks so grotty like you guys will just have to forgive me for that because once it gets like that I don't even bother to try and clean it because I know that it's just going to get like that again. So this is sort of a fun drawer isn't it? It's so full. It's just got so many different random things in it just to try and go through it quickly. I've got some Revlon. These are the old color stays. I love these. Some NARS duos. I've got Cordura. I've got Charade, and I've got Kalahari, some Bobbi Brown eyeshadows from Duty Free, like on the plane, um, some Clinique, uh, some more Clinique, they're actually pretty good eyeshadows, um, Kitten, one of my all-time favorites, some Berry M Dazzle Dust, um, I hoarded these when I was in the UK, these are really nice, I would say I actually like them better than the MAC Loose eyeshadows um, that are now part of the permanent collection. Some Cover Girls, some Milani, some Bourgeois. Um, Nuba is actually an Italian brand that is very popular in sort of Nordic countries. I'm pretty sure I got this from Sweden actually randomly. Um, we have little Dior, some Urban Decay, uh, an old Chanel cream eyeshadow, some MAC. Um, this is Soften the Mood from like last summer. Some cover girl, I love these, they're awesome. Some Lorac randomly in there. Some hard candy, and that's really about it. Um, I definitely do reach for my palette eyeshadows more often than these, but it is great to have singles for tutorials and that kind of thing. So and then this is another good drawer. It's blushes, it's highlighters, and it's bronzers. Um, so you can see some bronzers back here. There's some MAC, there's my dark, there's some MAC, there's my NARS Laguna, um, there's some MAC powders here, some mineralized skin finishes, then there's some blush here, there's my Pixie from Target. Um, that I bought recently. Then there's a Tarte. This is my all-time favorite bronzer. This is the Amazonian Clay Park Avenue Princess, and it's waterproof, which is awesome. Then there's my Tarte Expose. These are still my all-time favorite blushes. That will never change. My brand new Maybelline Dream Bouncy. Let me know if you'd like to see a review on those. Um, I got them recently. Then there's some NARS, um, there's Copacabana here, um, these are the multiples, which are horrendously expensive. Um, I do like them, but not as much as the price. Some Bobbi Brown, these are powder highlighters, um, maybe you guys have never seen the, these before, actually. They're really, really nice. Um, I have a bunch of them. I um, a little sample, uh, and oh, this is the Lorac, and you can see how much I like it. Um, it's a spotlight highlighter. I might do a video on this one, too, because you can see from the fact that I have a backup, um, that it's a hit. So, and finally, ugh, oh, this video is getting to be so long, but this is the conclusion now. Um, here's the lip drawer. This is part of the reason why I do need new storage just because it is so full that you can't find anything and yet the fact that it's so full kind of makes me happy and I love kind of rifling through here. It used to be definitely more roomy before Revlon <laughs> uh, lip butters took over my life basically. Um, I'm addicted. I 
got all of them except for two. If you've seen my review video and top five, um, yeah, I have quite a few of these. I think I have, uh, so I have 16 of these, I guess, except I feel like there might be some in my handbag downstairs. I have all of them except for fake jam and gumdrop. Um, I thought it was just gumdrop that I was missing, but I also didn't get fig jam because it was too kind of browny, purpley for my skin tone. Um, and then, of course, you, you guys, you know, if you didn't understand before why I named my channel Glossy Pink Lip Gloss, I feel like now you understand. <laughs> There's a lot of Glossy Pink Lip Gloss in this drawer. I almost feel like the Revlons kind of form part of that collection, um, but there's all kinds of browns. Um, you can see I don't discriminate. The only thing that I feel like is a huge part of other people's videos, but not mine, is I don't actually have any MAC lip glosses. I got rid of all of the ones that I used to have. I used to have quite a few. I don't like them anymore. They're extremely sticky. Um, they're really not my kind of thing anymore at all, um, but I do still like MAC lipstick, you can see from this little section, and then we just have a real mix here. We have some Bare Minerals, um, I've got some Rimmel, these are recent, some Berry M, this is a Canadian brand called Bombshell, um, some Clinique lipstick, some Buxom lip glosses, a lot of these are in my handbag actually, they're a big hit with me as well, some Lip Fusion um, for a little plumpage action, yeah, I don't even know you guys, I have so many and I can't even tell you like over the years how many lip glosses I've thrown away because I feel like other than foundation they're the second thing um, to go bad quickly. So there's a little overview of everything I own. So I will see you guys in my next vlog year video. I hope you enjoyed this and 